Who's that exotic foreign man? We must find out all that we can. Is he old? Is he new? Is he false? Is he true? Is he clergy? Military? Is he rich? Is he married? Oh! oh. It's based on a true incident that happened in Minnesota right around the Civil War. And there was this guy who came to Minnesota posing as a Scottish uh, lord. And he impressed everybody a ton. Minneapolis was a young city. And the, the, the furthest you could go was Fergus Falls, which is pretty far. And he basically convinced people in Minnesota that he was going to develop huge towns outside of the city and to get them to invest early so that they would be part of the gold rush that this was going to create. Why this guy came to Minnesota, I don't know. And he fooled rather prominent Minnesotans. He too. did, These yeah. people went on to be, you know, governors. Right. Um, they were... They were big players in Minnesota politics. Those, those yeah. kind of bearded, substantial men yes. that, you know, have all the money and make decisions for other people. Perhaps it's just a Midwest trait, the way that we self-deprecate. Minnesota's now a united state, though we still feel somewhat second rate. Drop an old world lord into their midst. You know, you know what I like best about the show? Hmm. Is that you watch it and you think, now how could this be true? This is yeah. just ridiculous that these people think this guy is who he says he is. And he's, he's full of, you know, all this sort of peacock type of, well, I'm Scottish wearing these things. And it's so similar to the age we live in now where you see things in uh, the media about our politicians. You're like, this can't be. True, no, this, right? won't, this can't really this happen. This can't be true. And, uh, and yet it is. And it happened before. So um, it's kind of stunning how these personas are really bigger than life. And I'm, I'm just generally really excited about this. It's come a real long way. You know, it's been a whole bunch of things on the way to being what it is now. And I think it's really, really a good story. People in the community will be blown away by this story and how little they knew of some very colorful history that existed right here. Lord Gordon, Gordon, Lord Gordon, Gordon, he opened up this purse and gold poured in. Who was this handsome con man with manners oh so nice, oh so nice, oh so nice. He liked the Gordon name so much the founder took it twice. <laughs>